The Teen Wolf TV show timeline could not be easier to follow. It takes place over three years in universe, starting with the winter semester in year one and ending with the fall semester in year three. Now, many times during the run, many of the props on the show and even some of the dialogue just ignored this timeline. But a few individual fuck-ups don't negate 100 episodes of solid canon. Before we get into the timeline, here's how I'm defining canon based on our practice over at the official Team Wolf Wiki. Canon is, as far as the site is concerned, the events that transpire on screen during each episode. It also takes into account past events as described by characters on the show as well as some of the information relayed via props on the show. The latter, the show's props, prove, more often than not, to conflict with prior established canon. When a conflict occurs we make note of it but give precedence to the information provided via dialogue, as this is more likely to convey the writer's intent than would a prop they did not create themselves. On we go. We know it's winter when the show starts because the wolf moon happens in January and the very first episode is called Wolf Moon. But that's not the only hint we have. We know only a couple of days pass between the end of season one and the beginning of season two. They'll be here in two days. And then Lydia's birthday is in March with the worm moon, as helpfully explained by dead Peter Hale. Do you know what they call the full moon in March? It's called the worm moon. <laughs> we have a solid block of nonstop timeline from the start of the show to about three months in. And that gives us a solid base for the beginning of year one. Have a great summer, everyone. No. To the seniors, I'll see you at graduation. No, 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 no. That's it? What? At the end of season 6A, Scott, Lydia, Stiles, and Malia graduate in the spring of year three. Then in 6B, the story picks up at the beginning of a new school year in the fall of year three. The point is, the summer's almost over. We're about to be seniors. This is about to be the best year of our entire lives. Teen Wolf, the TV show, is three years of time broken into six seasons. So all the history of the show and the upcoming movie branch off in both directions, past and future, from these three years. The movie takes place in 2026, roughly 12 to 13 years since the last time we were all in Beacon Hills. The movie will also take place in our future, from our perspective, as we're watching it on Paramount Plus in January of 2023. Going the other direction, into the canonical past of the Teen Wolf universe, we have a pretty clear picture of a number of important events that took place before year one. We know Derek and Paige were in high school more than 10 years before year one because the sheriff said it. The records would be over 10 years old. I just need to look over a couple files. We know the Hale House fire took place six years before year one because everyone, save a single on-screen reference, places the fire six years before year one. Six years ago, my sister and I were at school. Our house got fired. As explained at the official Teen Wolf Wiki, we trust dialogue over props, but we also have to judge dialogue based on who said it and under what circumstances. The perfect example of how to judge dialogue as non-canonical is this style scene where he says the fire happened like 10 years ago. Dude, that was Derek Hale. You remember, right? He's only like a few years older than us. Remember what? His family? They all burned to death in a fire like 10 years ago. But then we learned it was actually six because Derek said so. Both of these cannot be right. Picking which one is canonical in this case is pretty simple. 
Styles was talking casually about an event that happened to someone else when he himself was just a little kid. Derek is talking about something that he experienced personally. So we believe Derek over Styles. Each contradiction like this has to be judged on its own merit within the context of the show. Again, most of the bad props can never be saved. But Teen Wolf does have a pretty simple and straightforward timeline if you don't get bogged down in the minutiae.